The next thing we want to do is make this into more of a bowl. So it's going to be our teacup. So what we've got to do now is bring our side walls out. Now to do that, you need your wheel going a little bit faster. And we're going to put our fingers inside and we're going to support the outside with our whole hand. Make sure your hand is wet enough and make sure there is enough water down the side of the walls to be able to handle this. Then what we're doing is we're holding the outside and we're leaning that wall over into the hand. Just gently and slowly. And then we're bringing our fingers up to the edge until we go right over the edge with both that palm and those fingers. And that now has got us into more of a bowl shape. So to continue this, we want to make sure that we're at the bottom of the pot, so right down the very bottom. And what we're going to do is we're going to have one hand on the outside, just holding, just supporting the pot. The pan that's going to be doing the most work is this one here. So we're going to be going in and we're going to be turning it up that way and coming up the walls until we come right off the top of the ring. So let's go, all right? So here we are with this hand here, securing the outside. We're running across the bottom completely from the center and then up the wall to make sure that we have a nice curve in that bottom. And the other hand is just supporting the outside so the inside hand doesn't push the bowl out too far and we make sure we go off that rim completely. If you don't go off that rim completely, it will become uncentered again. So you've always got to make sure you follow all the way through up to the edge of your pot. So now we're going to do that again. So just a little bit more water, make sure there's water on your palm and then let's go again. So from the center, we're going up and we're going to turn our hand using those fingers to go up the wall supported by the outside fingers, supporting only. Don't use your outside fingers to pull any clay up. That's already been done. What we're doing now is shaping. And we're shaping from the inside out. So, and go right off the edge of the rim. And you can see that our pot at the top here has a really nice even rim. And on the inside, we're getting this lovely curve. So we do need to go through it again. So there's just a little bit of a bump down there that I need to get rid of. So we'll go through this again. So up we go, using our fingers on the outside to support the fingers that are shaping the inside of the pot. And then up we go to get to the top. And then make sure all fingers go past the rim. Shore up that top edge. Use your sponge to pop into the bottom. You might need to push it so it's hard, a little smaller sponge. And just take out the water there in the bottom so that you can see your shape in the bottom of your pot. So at the moment, my bottom of the pot is on the inside is coming down. There's a little bit of a bump and then we go into the bottom across. So that little bit of a bump is what I want to remove. So again, we're just going to put a bit of water down the wall and down the outside. So it makes it easier for our hands to move. And we're going to go across the bottom with our fingers and up the side wall. And as we're going up the side wall, we're turning our hand. So our fingers become parallel, not vertical. So by the time we get to the top of the ring, our fingers should be parallel with the ring. And then it goes off. Again, we use our sponge so that we can get that excess water out and we can see what's happening 
in the bottom of our pot. A lot of potters, potters talk about a beginner's bump. And this is how you get rid of that beginner's bump. Now this is the way that you do it with your hand. You can also use tools to do this. So, but it's very important that you learn how to do this with your hands. So at the moment, I have a nice flow through my pot. So what you're seeing here on the outside, that pot comes all the way down. So, and I'll just go over and get the camera so I can show you this. All right, so back again, and you can see inside that pot there, and you can see that there is a nice flow through on the inside. Now we're not too concerned about the outside. We're concerned about the shape in the inside because it's very difficult to turn the inside of a pot. It can be done and I do do it, but it's very difficult. So what we're wanting to do now is we're wanting to shape the bottom. So I'll pop you back up on the stand again and we'll get going again and do the rest of that pot. I'm Sammy O and this is my artwork.